All right, guys, I am bug sprayed up. It is the end of July, just about, and I'm going to put trail cams out on the box blind or on the box blind property. So, uh, if you watch my do's and don'ts of a box blind, you'll know that I said that you always want to make sure you check on it before hunting season, do all your maintenance. That way, when it comes to hunting season, you're not sitting in it and falling to the ground. So, that's what I'm going to do. I've pretty much kept up on it. Well, kept eyes on it the past year so i kind of have about an idea but uh i'm gonna take an actual hike up there see what i need and then... all right so first impressions are some of the tar paper that i use to protect the wood it's coming coming down on the back side all right so let's uh climb up you can kind of see what we're working with here. So the bottom, bottom looks all right. It looks like it may have got a little wet, but that's kind of a normal thing. So uh, I'm gonna climb this ladder and hopefully not die. <sighs> yeah, so this is broken off. Yeah, this is broken. Oh, that's broken. And, oh, and, that's broken. Okay, so I have three, three of my angled boards are broke. Now this happens because of wind. Um, you know, I'm 15 feet or so up. I don't remember how much exactly, and uh, this kind of tends to happen. So that's why I need to kind of check it. One other thing I want to check too is my strap. I have this strap that runs around to a uh, hold to this tree and uh, it's gonna have to get replaced because it is fraying right up there so I'm gonna have to replace that ratchet strap so that's three boards and ratchet strap and we're not even inside obviously critters have been up here got some moisture rotting out that wall because I got nothing up here anymore I used to have it wrapped like that and the critters got to that wall, tore that down, so. You guys hear that? I'm not alone. Okay, so basic maintenance is I do have to do every year. Some of the outside wrap needs to get fixed. Um, restapled on the inside the camel's got to get restapled on and a couple of supports got to get rescrewed ratchet strap basic maintenance now the last bit of maintenance that you need to do every year and it's very important is I have my bowstring I leave it out every year grab it give it a nice good yank just to make sure that I didn't get dry rotted over the summer so uh, I'll do that again before I actually start hunting too but that's just a good idea that way you're not trying to pull your bow up or your or your rifle up and it hits the ground. So that's the let. Um, I'm gonna go out back and do that, and then we'll uh, grab some supplies and uh, maybe tomorrow and get her fixed up and ready for some hunting. Man, we need some rain. I'm at the creek that is at the absolute backside of my property. And normally, there's water running all up through there, just flowing. But we need some rain bad. This is nuts. So I'm out here looking for fresh deer tracks and stuff like that. Um, and I'm literally standing where it's normally like a foot and a half of water like normally that log back there is like completely submerged in water and it's just nothing also trying to get some footage of frogs for you but they're way more better at hiding than i give them credit for and they jump every time i i go by them so i'm gonna walk this uh empty creek bed got a lot of like raccoon tracks and stuff they're walking through here but that doesn't really do a lot of good for me for deer hunting so uh actually there we go 
We got some tracks here. So yeah, but this is like the way back. So all right, enough screwing around and trying to not get freaked out by snakes. And uh, I still gotta go put this one out. I got an idea in where I want to go. So yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys have all seen empty creek beds before but I've been here five years and it's never been like this so a lot of stagnant water on my side so go I'll just put this out and then thinking tomorrow is when I grab everything and we'll get to work back out here it is day two it's actually not the next day because it rained like crazy yesterday it's actually the next next day uh, I got supplies I got tools brought the ladder out Okay, so something to keep in mind if you're doing a box blind and you're using trees as legs is the, these trees are going to move with the wind and um, they're not necessarily going to move at the same fluctu fluctuation and uh, things can break and snap and move. So keep that in mind. So what I did when I, you just saw me reattaching the paper was I noticed that these bolts are broken. They were attached to the tree at one point. So now they are hanging on these right here, and I kind of thought the treehouse looked like it was leaning a little bit, and it must be. Um, so I don't have any lags right now. Uh, I'll have to get, go to the store and get some, but I'm going to leave the ladder out before the season. I'm going to put some new lags in these, and I'm going to do, um, I'm going to add a little more support to this tree. Again, I want it to allow it to, to move as much as I can. So uh, I think that's what I'm going to have to do. But this is why we do maintenance is because that could be pretty devastating if I would not have caught that in time. And uh, the other thing is, is tar paper is getting pretty bad. I think uh, next year, uh, I think it's time to tear it all off and either put new tar paper or put something else on. I'm not sure what yet, but I think that's uh, going to be next year's project. So let's get some of these other sports done. Swing like Tarzan in the frame. Whew. Okay. All right. So when I said I was going to add some support, what I mean is if you look at this right here, I knew that this tree wouldn't be really enough. I didn't really have anything to sink into that tree. So I ran this two by four and made a little ledge. And that's what the ratchet strap is actually around the tree to hold it on that ledge. So what I think I'm going to have to do, and excuse the crappy camera work, but I'm in the air here is I'm gonna do the same thing over here but I'll probably use a 4x4 four four, and I'm gonna lag up there and that's just gonna be kind of the extra security So I, I wanted to cover up this piece right here. I used to have the tar paper over it, but the, again, it just doesn't anymore. So I'm gonna use some Tyvek. I'm gonna wrap it with that. I don't know how much good it'll do, but it'll be something. So I'm gonna... That thing just touched me and scared the crap out of me. And now, so the white doesn't stick out like a sore thumb, we're gonna make it go black. All 
And one more thing while you're up in the blind is one thing you do want to check, and this goes for basically any stand that you have, is you want to check your shooting lanes and make any necessary trimming well before season so the deer don't freak out because you just took out one of the bedroom walls. So uh, I do have a lane right here, and there is a branch right there, so I can remove one. Other than that, I'm all set, but... uh. In case you're wondering, yes, I did set the camera up and run back to the quad to drive up for dramatic effect. I did. So, I decided to go, I had to go back and get more staples. Let me get that shadow out of my face. So I went up to get more staples and I found a couple of lag bolts that I have, well, lag screws. They're not exactly what I'm looking for, but they're going to work to get me through the next season. So, we were actually going to finish bracing this thing up because I bring my kids up here and I don't want to have anything happen so if you live in an area that gets snow when you're building a blind like this think about the snow load that the roof is going to have to support and then add the weight of the blind and that snow to the base and you'll really want to beef up that base as much as possible all right hopefully you guys got some good ideas and found out some things to check for on your box blinds or your elevated blinds and you found the importance of it before the season because you want to get out a little bit before the deer really start adapting and getting a little more sketchy you want to get out when you got plenty of time so i got two months before hunting season starts plenty of time i got this thing ready to roll um but i hope you saw why you should do this is because i had three supports that were broken the one ratchet strap which and then i had the whole tree was actually the house was separated from the tree so i got all that fixed and taken care of for this year um come springtime watch out for another video because i'm going to be taking all the tar paper off replacing the tar paper um I'm either going to do more tar paper if somebody has a better idea. The skeleton itself is something, a thing just touched me and it scared me. Uh, the thing itself is OSB, so I need to do something to weatherproof that. So probably tar paper it again. Um, and then that back corner, I'm going to just say screw the tree idea. And I'm going to run a stilt on that one. I think that's what I'm going to do. So keep that in mind for uh, the springtime. If you want, you can subscribe. And then you can watch it in spring because I want to do it when it's not 100 degrees out. So, um... Thank you guys for watching. Uh, stay safe this hunting season. Good luck. Shoot straight. And I'll see you guys in the next one.